closing welcome to Premier Rachel Notley as she spoke to party members at the NDP Provincial Council this morning. I'm Carly Robinson and the NDP leader did not shy away from taking shots against neighbouring provinces she says instigated trade wars as well as members of the opposition. Guess what they want to do? They want to give big tax cuts to the rich. They want to privatize health care. They want to cut education. Who would have thought it? You know, Jason, the 1990s are calling and they want their ridiculous ideas back. At this partisan event, it was clear the 2019 election was top of mind, with a strong emphasis on building the economy and a number of mentions of United Conservative leader Jason Kenney, though no mention of the Alberta party until prompted by reporters. Really, it actually, in a way, goes back to Jason Kenney. His whole reason for being was to unite the Conservatives, and what we've seen now is that we, once again, are not back into the session, and we have two Conservative parties. Kenney speaking to his supporters in his own way through almost daily Facebook videos. Here's the problem. Alberta's New Democrats are now doing nothing to fight their BC friends and allies in Victoria. Our Premier folded the other day in the face of yet another delay tactic. A stark contrast to Notley's message today to NDP members. BC backed off and we removed the wine ban. But make no mistake, we are not letting up. I'm going to continue to make our case to every Canadian in every part of the country. Well, I am renewing our call on the Alberta New Democrats to get serious, as I've been saying since July of last year, with a fight back strategy. Notley saying that although she hasn't spoken with BC Premier Horgan, they are ready. To be very clear, should there be any government of BC generated delays, uh, we will take action. Well, the spring session of the legislature begins this week and it will likely be heated and there's a budget coming expected March 22nd. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.